Okay, I want to go over each of these MSM um, chlorine dioxide kits or items one by one just to show what they are. Right here we have liquid MSM drops. This is um, in an eyedropper form or an eyedropper bottle. Basically, um, if you, I got this from Amazon and the um, it's supposed to help with floaters and if you have eye problems or any kind of eye issue, it's supposed to help with that. Just take it like an, just drop it in your eyes like an eye drop. It's um, it's basically the liquid MSM, and I'll explain that in a minute what that is. But basically, this is um, developed to go into your eyes. So um, and it's safe and effective. Um, so, and then next we have the um, flakes, the MSM flakes. This is lemon lime flavor. Um, I basically put a teaspoon in a 16 ounce bottle of water, shake it up, and then it tastes like lemon lime flavored drink. So, um, and that's, you know, um, that's your daily dose of MSM. It basically purifies your system. Um, and then we have over here um, liquid MSM drops. This is in a dropper form. You basically put uh, two, you know, start with one drop if you're new to it um, in your drink, um, water, tea. Um, I put it in my coffee sometimes. Um, you know, it's basically just sodium chloride um, and a mixture I think um, you know but basically it's when it mixes with your stomach acid it's that's when the chlorine dioxide forms in your body and that you know that mixture that creates the chlorine dioxide in your body with your stomach acid it basically um, does the um, does the work and this is a, a kit, a chlorine dioxide kit. Part A is um, sodium chloride with a T. Chloride. Zoom in on that. Sodium chloride. There's the um, the you know the chemical name for it right there. Um, so part A is sodium chloride, and then part B is an acid activator when you mix equal parts of a and b you it forms chlorine dioxide so um and that is you can make that um even just doing i think when i did my um i took um i started out with one drop in a little shot glass about the size of this little small shot glass but basically I took one drop um, chlorine dioxide A I mean CD kit A and then one drop of B and I kind of tilted the glass a little bit so they could mix together run together it's just a real minute tiny little drop so and then I Put, um, I filled it up with tea and then I drank it kind of you know real quick or whatever it's it doesn't really taste bad when you mix it with tea or you know something that's but if it's just plain water you're probably going to taste a faint chlorine taste it has an inert act in an inactive uh, chlorine atom with two oxygen molecule molecules uh, two oxygen atoms that are active. The oxygen is active, but the um, but it does have a faint smell and taste of the chlorine, kind of like pool water. So that's why I mix it with tea, so it tastes all right. You can't really taste it once you mix it with something that has a little bit of flavor. So, um, and then I bought these test strips, chlorine dioxide test strips, so that I could. Um, you put the little stick in there and then it um, and then you kind of measure it against these ranges parts per million 
and I for the oral um, consumption I never like to go over the 100 color but when I mixed it up topically to spray it on my chronic wound I would always try to get the darker color so I would mix up I would mix up a lot more for topical um, than I would for ingesting you know um, but when I mixed it up it would off gas for a few seconds so I would always smell it to try to inhale it because another good form of chlorine dioxide is an in inhalation uh, it does you know wonders and I really didn't realize at the time I just thought I had a sore in my nose but I found out later that the sore in my nose that I coincidentally had uh, for five years as well as the chronic sore on my abdomen was related the uh, sta it was staph infection um, and I didn't I thought that my I have an incision uh, tummy tuck scar down at the bottom of my abdomen and I thought that my incision just came open and wouldn't close up so um, and my doctor passed away so I couldn't really go back to the doctor about it um, so anyway I just um, had it for five years it never would close up never would heal up and um, but it, coincidentally I had that sore in my nose and I later found out that it was staph infection and as soon as the uh, the wound closed up after a month of taking chlorine dioxide after the doctors gave up after five years of not being able to help it um, after antibiotic after antibiotic they it didn't do anything to you know help it they gave up and said I was gonna have to go see a surgeon so I didn't want to do that so I d did research and came across this chlorine dioxide I had heard about MSM before a, a lady I watch on YouTube for news and stuff she um, her mother um, took it and she took it and um so basically it um and then they do the flakes as well and um so she was telling how it had a lot of health benefits for her so when i was researching chlorine dioxide i saw that it was the same thing as the liquid msm that the liquid msm was basically part a and then when it hits your stomach acid which is part b it mixes and makes the chlorine dioxide so I basically decided to try this first um, so I think I got up with the li liquid MSM to about 10 drops um, in my drink and now I just take a stopper you know I just squeeze it and it usually it fills up about halfway and then I just pour the whole thing in my drink you know which I have a pretty big cup I have like a 32 ounce cup that I carry with me and I usually keep that filled up with diet coke or tea or something so I usually mix um, and this liquid MSM doesn't have any kind of flavor um, however they make it they take the you know the chlorine um, the stronger chlorine taste is going to be from mixing the part A and part B here um, the flakes have the lemon lime flavor so there's no you know that's taken care of there's no you know chlorine flavor there and then this you take through your eye so you're not tasting anything and this is not this is the same as this part a um i would never mix these two together and then put that in my eye that i wouldn't do that just that's not recommended this right here is a stronger when you mix it outside the outside the body uh, mix A and B this is citric acid or you can use hydrochloric acid they have different kits on Amazon you can get the hydrochloric acid um, as part B or you can get the citric acid so I just got the citric acid because I wanted to see you know since my stomach is already hydrochloric acid and I have that when I take this liquid MSM or this eye drops or this flakes then uh, so I wanted to see what the citric acid is I can't really tell a difference so 
but basically the health benefits are great. Um, I heard this morning on the lady I listened to online that uh, told me that got me started on this uh, liquid MSM. She has a friend that her son had um, this friend of hers grandson has been diagnosed with a real fast acting cancer and um, so he did like a chemo some chemo treatments and then they finally released him from the hospital to kind of you know um, see how things would go and as soon as they got him home she started him on this just a few drops of this liquid MSM they weren't even doing this CD kit this strong you know um, they were just doing uh, I think one drop of this liquid MSM in their drink or 16 ounce drink or water and um, and then when he went back to the doctor the doctors said that oh I guess the treatments are working he's so much better and but the parents didn't tell him anything about this because the media is a, they lie about this all the time they say it's poison because they don't they want you to get their stuff so um so then i guess a few months later they came back and said oh well he don't we can't find any cancer so and they and you know this is the only thing different that they were doing other than the you know the chemo and he wasn't getting any better when he was on chemo so when they started him on this um he started doing better so i i believe it was this you know but um but anyway and then the test strips use the test strips when you use the part a and part b mix it together it turns to a yellow uh color and then it turns like a dark amber color and then um then you pour your drink in there after what i would do with the strips is after i mix the water or the tea with the chlorine dioxide after I smelled it um, I would dip dip one of these sticks in there and then for about 15-30 um, seconds take it out and then it would turn the color and then I would measure it up against it and um, so really all you need is um, I would I think I got up to maybe five drops each 5a and 5b in a little cup like that and um and i didn't really even have to go much higher than that because my wound healed up so fast i guess after dealing with it for five years i, I didn't know how long it would take i thought i was going to have to do it for a year or so i mean i didn't really know so but for it to and i wasn't even being aggressive with it at first because i was new to it and i wanted to kind of take it slow at first and then as I got used to it, I was planning on being more aggressive because a lot of people take it every hour on the hour, a dose. But I didn't want to, I wanted to, you know, but basically all I did was one dose a day and I, uh, orally, and I was doing the, um, the eye drops as well. And then I was, um, also, um, spraying it on my wound. And I was smelling it as it off gassed when I first mixed it together. Before I added the liquid, I would smell in the cup as it, you know, and I would just, and all it is is like smelling chlorine. And, but I didn't realize that it was healing the sore in my nose. And I didn't realize that that was staph infection. I thought I just had a sore in my nose that wouldn't heal up either. You know, I just thought that something wasn't causing my body to heal of sores you know which I really didn't have any other sores on my body other than those two but I just thought that something wasn't letting my body heal a, a sore you know so come to find out it was whatever pathogen or, or bacteria or um, parasite or whatever it was in my body that this cleared up that cleared that up you know, so it's, and staff is pretty powerful, you know, so this stuff is really powerful, it really took care of it, takes care of MS, takes care of ALS, takes care of all kind of autoimmune diseases, all kind of skin diseases, um, just any kind of 
disease that you have to deal with you know I believe this will take care of it so just remember only um, probably work your way up to three to five um, drops little little t90 drops um, each in a little cup like this or you can do a 16 ounce or 8 ounce or which I think this is like four maybe four ounces um, but I just like to get it over with I just wanted to shoot this while I was you know um, getting ready for work and then I would drink my diet coke throughout the day with some of this in it and um, and I didn't even have these flakes I just bought these I haven't uh, I just started on the flakes I didn't even use this at all you know while I was um, you know my sore was healing up at all so all I had when my sore was healing up was the eye drops the CD kit and then the liquid MSM drops so and I don't even think I did this I, while I was doing this I think I had slacked off of taking that because I was doing this and then um, after my sore healed up I think I went back to this and I drink this every day which I'm almost out this bottle's almost empty I don't know if you can tell or not but it's basically you know almost empty but but yeah I take that every day now for maintenance just because it's so good with my gut